Hey guys, Steve Jobert here. Uh, I'm in the car with uh, two of my friends. There's uh, Dragon. Hello. There, and there's Hello. Hello. Right, Hello. Soul. Soul. That's right. um, so we went to see uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Um, and this is going to be a spoiler free review because I, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But um, I overall, I thought the movie was pretty good. I mean, I'd seen a few previews of it. And um, I mean, I think it was pretty much everything I was expecting. Uh, the acting was pretty good, I'd say. I mean, what did you guys think about the acting? The acting was just when you go, make sure you have a pair of headphones to drown out some of the sound because you will blow yeah. your eardrums how loud it was. I, yes. I think it was because the movie theater we were at. We were at uh, Cinema 17 and uh, we were doing IMAX version of it. Man, it was loud. Uh, you heard it. It was, it was pretty loud. Like there was a there was a car crash uh, almost at the beginning of the movie, and it, I think it I think it scared the shit out of uh, all, of all of us. Yeah, so <laughs> it was crazy. Um, but no, I mean you had a uh, John Goodman in there, um, who's I mean I I don't think well Dragon's not very good with names, so he doesn't really yep. know. And then uh, Soul, uh, I think yeah, kind of. But uh, John Goodman's a good a great actor, so I mean you know it's, it was almost uh, guaranteed you're almost guaranteed to get at least some good acting and. Um, it got it's gotten pretty good reviews. It got a 94% with Rotten Tomatoes. So I don't know. It was I thought it was pretty good overall. Um, I guess I'll try to explain the plot. I'm not the best at it, but uh, basically we get this uh, uh, woman. I can't remember her. Do either of you remember her name at all? Michelle. Michelle. Was it Michelle? Okay. So the main character pretty much is Michelle, and I guess she's upset. She's uh, leaving her husband or something. So she's driving. I think it was her boyfriend. Yeah, her, her boyfriend or something. Um, so she's driving off and ignoring his phone calls. The point is she gets in a crash and then she wakes up in like this chamber kind of thing. And like she's, she's attached to a, an IV. I think that's what you call it. And um, like she obviously starts freaking out because she doesn't know where she's at and then this guy comes in uh, opens the door and comes in and basically explains to her that uh, what happened? yeah what happened like is there's nothing left outside because the <laughs> the, world, the air got polluted and everything so it's it's kind of like uh, a, a, a post-apocalyptic movie sort of um, it kind of reminded me of War of the Worlds in, in, the, in the way that um, there's aliens, like there was these aliens and it had like this ship that was like, that would grab you and like take you in, but uh, it, it was very, it, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was, it was really different from War of the Worlds though, I mean it was sort of similar but not really, um, and uh, there's, it's Michelle, the guy that has the place, and then there's another guy who I named, his name I did also don't remember, but uh, it's in it's pretty much inconsequential uh, as you go on. Emmett, Emmett, that was his name, Emmett. Um, but yeah, so I, that's pretty much the plot of the movie. Um, and then there's this whole mystery about the guy that took both of them in because you think that uh, at first there's something weird going on and then you start to think he's okay, but then you find out something else about him that kind of uh, makes you pretty much know that there's something messed up with this with the uh, with this guy who is played by John Goodman so but yeah that's basically uh, that's basically the premise of the movie um, again I say it was I say it was pretty good I'd give it like I'd say an 8.5 out of 10 uh, Dragon what do you say I agree um, the movie was pretty good Pretty good. Okay. So I give it a solid eight. It's not my favorite type of movies. I like action packed. Yeah. yeah it's slow at the start, but it, the plot twist. There's multiple plot twists in the entire show. Yeah. Let's just say when you get towards the end of the movie, you want to reach to the screen and smack the main character. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> That's true. So yeah. Um. Would definitely say it was better than The Witch because although The Witch was a good movie, it was very slow and it just wasn't my type of uh, horror movie. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend Ten Cloverfield Lane. Uh, 
average out to about 8 out of 10. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend the movie. And yeah, good movie. Th two thumbs up. Good acting. And yeah, so this has been the review of 10 Cloverfield Lane, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.